Harford again. Brilliantly taken by Murphy. Side steps one. Left handed. It's very high and it bounces barely over the line. But that was great play again from Angie. Thirteen points to seven. St. Mary's lead by six points. A goal before half time would be lovely. Laddie bats that brilliantly. Rowe has it. Down towards Martin. And it comes to Darrell. Darrell has it and pulls but misses, but Ronan has it. And clears brilliantly left handed. Down towards Angie. Oh, that's well played from Angie. Take no chances over the line. It's better out there than in the hands of Relis. So this one will be taken by Jonathan Rowe, it looks like. No, it'll be taken by... I don't really... Harford, Declan Harford. And there it is, half time. A good first half from the men from Ross Lair. St. Mary's 3-4, New Ross 1-4. So welcome back for the second half. Both teams out in the field now and Dickie Murphy be setting the watch. 30 minutes between Ross Lair and the county final victory. Oski Pitt running into his full forward position. As the selectors and managers get off the pitch. And away we go broken up here and Larry Morris he tries to block that one but it's well pulled on by Clinton Maguire it comes again to Larry and Larry flicks it away but it's with Gerard Ronan again he hits a good long ball oh. just wide just wide on the right hand side now we'll see how far past these puck outs go against this strong breeze <sighs> He gets great length, that's a great puck out. Keith has it. Hassle by Ronan. But Keith misses it. And turns on his left and that's a good long ball. Down towards Oscar. But it's broken up well there by Mark Ronan. Taken beautifully by Darrell, but Darrell just misses. Flicked out well though to Noli Butler. Noli's. And Stephen Wickham. Noli's in there, Noli pulls well. Gets it down into the corner. And towards Oscar. Oscar turns and turns his man. He's going for goal, Martin O'Connor's inside. And he's fouled our oh, referee. Oscar over carried the ball that time. He didn't see Martin. Martin was losing on, on his own. But that's a good positive opening from the Marys. Carl Donovan now. Taking the free from his own 21 yard line. It's a good long one down here towards Angie. Angie breaks it. Relis has it brilliantly flicked away from Angie. Comes out again. Clinny now. He'll have to get to this one first. And he pulls. But down into the centre. Oh, that's a lovely hand pass out there towards Arnold. Leslie Arnold. Taken well by Clinny. And Clinny picks and strikes. A great clearance. Take, taken here by Rowe. Jonathan Rowe. But Keith Murphy has it. Keith surely fouled there. Keith starting the second as he did in the first, starting the second half. He'll take this free himself again. Forty-two yards out. Placed in the ball. It's more like a sixty-five from this length. With the wind. That's a good low ball. Dropping and just right. A good strike, but just right at the post. So it's 3-4 to Ross Lair, 1-4 to Ross. The ball's with Cahill O'Donovan again. That's a good, it's a low ball. Out here now. Relis has it on this side. I don't know now. And the linesman gives it to the Jordan O'Hanrens. Line ball to the O'Hanrens to be taken by Declan Harford. 
It's hard to see who's over there. There's that many lads standing on the line. But Harford's taking this one. Hits it low. Hits it straight back over the line. That'll do us nicely. So Paul Fortune gather this one and drive it up for the Marys, hopefully. Fortune. And they hit it above Bally Connor. It's a low ball in and a stop there by Rellis. But he's hooked brilliantly by Larry Morrissey. Oh, that, was, that was a bit of a wild pull there by Walsh and Dickie didn't blow him up but Clinney's out well and Clinney hurled. That one lovely. Larry's there again. Pulled away by Joe Ronan. And the referee deems that a push in the back. Dickie taking Paul Fortune's name for that, but he could, Walsh himself could have had his name taken two or three minutes ago for that pull on Fortune. He's still down. It's 3-4, 13 points to one four seven. Obviously, he's not too bad. He's up and walking around. And it's Relis now again, 44 yards out. Surely this will be mere tap over for him. Lifts and strikes, he's hit this one in low. And Liam Brown, I hit that in low, surprised everyone. It, it, cut, it took a deflection off Liam Brown's hurl, I think it was. But he caught everyone by surprise with that one, hit it in crossbar height. 65 now again to be taken by Relis. He lifts and strikes. He's still low, but it's wide and wide of the just left of the post. So it's 3 4 to 1 4. Keith Murphy was deadly accurate with his freeze in the first half. <coughs> Patsy now. Hitting out to the far side, out towards Larry Morrissey. Larry's up, a brilliantly taken from Larry, and driven in low. But it falls to Joe Ronan. Nolly Butler's there, and Nolly's hassling. So too is Keith Murphy. Keith just fails to get down, and Angie's out first. Tackled by Relis. Relis using his weight there. Relis has it, followed by Johnny Mack. Oh, it's a good hand pass in there. Towards number 13, Arnold. Well blocked, however, and Clinney. And Liam Brown, Liam seems to be fouled there, but Liam has it, oh! Angie now breaks away, brilliant play that from Liam Brown out towards Angie, and Angie's solo on. Go, still going, that's brilliant! Cornerback hurling, out towards Oscar, Oscar up first time again! Hits it in, Nolly Butler's in there. Martin O'Connor, Martin want to, he's getting out to this one now. Out into the corner, he'd pull it back across the 20. He's go still going in. Oh, man. Jonathan Rowe is in there. And it comes out here towards Ivan Dalton. But that was a free there for Larry. Larry gave him a little nudge. Larry having a great game at centre field. Be taken by Ronan again. Oh, he's missed it. His frees have been bad today. Larry's in there. It's a bit scrappy now with Johnny. Johnny cut the man across the leg that time, but it's another free now to be taken by Ellis again. This one will surely be dropped in. The backs are going to be alert. Angie watches, man, watches his man take this free and goes in to stand on Patsy's goal line. Lifts and strikes, and it's gone to the, gone to the right and wide. Two frees missed from Relis now. The score still St. Mary's 3-4. Geraldine O'Hanron's 1-4. Two goals in it. The Marys really need a score now. It's tapped on well, but it's taken by Ronan. It's the ball. And well pulled on there by Johnny Mack. That was brilliant. Stephen Wickham's running onto this, and Stephen gets it. Darrell Coggy has it. Darrell pulls in there. Towards Stephen again. Oscar's out there on the right hand side. Gets it up brilliantly first time. Great ball in the cross and Martin's in there. 
but it's well cleared by Raw again. Out it comes as far as Nicky Murphy. Turns Keith and hits a good ball down here. Play really being spilled up and then Angie comes in with a good tackle there. Angie has it. Stylish hurling. Here comes Larry. Lion-hearted Larry. And Daryl, that's a good hand pass and Rowe hits it out here towards Sheehan. Sheehan gives, sells Keith a dummy. But Forty read that well. Just slipped away from him. Forty having a right tussle with Walsh number 12 and seems to be winning it. In here towards Martin O'Connor. Martin pulls it back across, but only as far as well pulled on by Stephen. Row again. He's getting a lot of the broken play. Brilliantly blocked down there by Daryl Cogley. Again, it comes as far as Sheen. It's gone very scrappy in the middle of the field. But he breaks away, followed by two Marys men. And the pressure plays off at Dicky. I thought that was a bit harsh. He didn't make no connection, but however, it's a free. Ten minutes gone. Relis now. And this this side. And that's a better, that's a good ball. Over the bar from John Relis, and it's 1-5 to 3-4. Five points in it now. <coughs> See now with this puck out again. Drops to Larry. Larry's there, turns his man, gets it up well first time. And buries it in here towards Martin. It comes to Oscar. Oscar's still going through. Brilliant from Oscar. It could be a goal. Oscar's done it. Oscar gets another goal. What a great score from Oscar Pace. 4-4 four, four to 1-5. He ran from the 30-yard line, bet two men and buried it past Donovan. Drops down here between Mark Anglem and Relis. Pulled on by Philip Walsh in towards the full forward, Paul Cullen. Hasn't really got a smack of it today yet. Brilliantly stopped by Clinney. Flicks it, keeps it out in front of him. Cullen again. Or it's Pete Nolan. Relis now. Shit. And Relis pulls back that goal, cancels out Oscar's goal immediately. A game of goals, 2-5 to 4-4. Four, four. Left or right-handed, Relis will, will punish the defence. It's with Patsy now. There's only five points in it. Two minutes ago, there was eight. Taken again by Relis. And he, er, Philip Walsh, pulled on brilliantly by Clinney. Comes to Walsh again, takes the shoulder from Johnny Mack, hand passes it out here to, sh to Dalton. Turns up, brilliantly blocked down there by Mark Anglem. Keith Murphy has it. Turns onto his right and buries it down, down towards little Noly. Noly, no. Mark Rohn is there, but it's well cleared out there by Rowe again. Down here towards 13, Leslie Arnold and Clinney, and that's surely Clinney's ball. Well won by Clinney. The last three minutes have seen two great goals. One at either end. That's well pulled down the line. Bl lovely by Clinney. Keith, one-handed pick up and it's gone and it's tripped. Tripped by Geron and <sighs> Having a great game, Keith. Indeed, everyone's playing their part. 38 yards out. This side of the field and it's Keith Murphy. He bends, lifts, strikes. Did he learn? It's a great score. What a brilliant score from Keith Murphy. Learned from his mistake the last time and planted it over the black spot. What a great score. And there's six points in it again. But it's down towards this man, Relis. He misses it that time down towards Walsh. The one time he's got away from Farsi, but it's well read by Clinney. Having a great game. Keith Murphy again. Johnny Mack bravely puts his foot in there to ski without the hurl. Out comes big Emmett Patton. And Emmett take and Clinney. Oh, lovely skill from Clinney. Keep and pulls along the ground. Down here towards Darrell. 
And Daryl keeps the ball going. Key on his right, and that's lovely picking down towards Noli. Stephen Wickham has it. Stephen's reading and, go and drops it, but it comes to Noli Butler again. Noli keeps the pressure on, but it's cleared up there, and it comes as far as Harford. Well blocked by Larry, and Larry keeps it going in, but it's Rowe has it and clears it left-handed out here towards Walsh. Philip Walsh. Two Marys men to try to stop him, but it comes over here towards Clinney. Well pulled on by Ar Leslie Arnold, but Angie's there. And Angie gets a vital clearance away. He don't want to watch his man. Stop by Emmett. And that's that's safe out there. Out over the line. Six points in it. Two five to four five. I don't know what the hold up is. There seems to be a sub coming on. But he hasn't. They're bringing out the goalkeeper. They're bringing, putting in the sub as a goalkeeper. I don't know what number he is, but they're bringing out Carl O'Donovan. Desperation times for Geraldine O'Hanrens. What will the Mary selectors do about this one? But any of the Rossler backs will handle. And it's Clinney who's given the task. Rel Relis has gone out to wing forward. And Carlo Donovan goes into centre forward. Keith Murphy. Well read by Keith. Sells the dummy. Seemed to be fouled. But the referee plays advantage. Stephen has it. Stephen keeps the ball going in beautifully. In here towards Noli. Lovely skill from Noli. Out towards Darrell. Hasslin Rowe. But again on the left hand side he clears it out. Out towards Walsh, that's good skill. Down towards Relis. They look very alike, but Relis. And she just slipped by putting the pressure on. Big Emmett's in there, Emmett. Oh, brilliant from Patsy. And a great delivery out towards Emmett. Emmett will get there and whip it. Just over the line. But that was well worked out there by the cornerback, Emmett Patton, and the goalkeeper, big Patsy Myler. Relis now. 30 yards out on this near side. That's a good ball. That's an excellent ball. Let the fucking thing out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a 65. Better to be safe than sorry for Patsy. <laughs> so it's a 65 now for Ellis. The crowd is here enjoying a great game. Relis now. Lobs it up and lobs it wide. There's plenty of room out there for it. And Patsy now. We'll, we'll let this one out towards the centre of the park. Relis is on his own in the centre, so we better keep it away from him. Larry is there. And Larry, and so is Keith. Forty's there. Well pulled on by Forty, out towards Stephen Wickham, but it's taken there by Declan Harford. Oh, breaks in here to Walsh. And he puts it straight over the bar. That was a good score. After Forty's initial clearance, he got a yard and he put it over the bar. Both sets of supporters getting behind their team is Patsy. Patsy Myler, it's a long ball out. Out again towards the other side, towards Keith. Keith it up well, and 40. In here and out towards Pete Nolan. The Geraldine and Hannon starting to get on top. The rest of their backs not happy with that decision from Diggy. This surely will just be a tap over for Ellis. Five points in it. This to close the deficit to only four. Buries this one over the bar and there's only four points in it. There's only four points in it now and Patsy gets ready to fuck another one out. He now has seen a lot of play in the second half. Out again towards the stand side, towards Larry. Brilliantly pulled on by Forty, but blocked. And Forty gets it down the line, relieving the pressure. But it barely just creeps over the line. But at least it's 
It's in the Mary's half. Johnny McDonald runs to pick up his man. Dicky Murphy asks the players to come back, and it's hit. Look, Stephen pulls. Angie pulls down here towards Declan Harford. But it's again, it's with Farty and Farty. But Larry battling away, and Larry has it. Angie's there. And Larry keeping the ball out in front. That's good hurling from Larry. Brilliant from Larry. The Rosslayer boys now starting to maybe get a bit tired. Liam Brown, solid as a rock into the corner back position, comes to Rellis. That's very dangerous, but it's just wide. That was a very dangerous ball in there towards number 13, Leslie Cullen. Number 15, actually, Niall Merrigan. But they're all right, and there's a player injured over there. It looks like... I don't know who it is. It's... I don't really know who it is. It's Clinny, but Clinny's up quickly. So Patsy again now, get ready to take this ball. This puck out. <coughs> Stiffening breeze in his face. Out again towards that side, out towards Larry. Number eight, Sheen seems to be up on his back, but Larry nevertheless gets it down here towards Nolly. And that's, that's, well, that's all right, Nolly. Earns a side, that's the Mary's ball. The ref, the linesman's after giving it the other way. They're not happy down there, but it's a third line of Hannah's ball. Well taken by Rellis, so that was well taken. He dropped what or watch. Well blocked from Forty. And that's it now. Now the Marys maybe can get a score, get the ball up the other end. Keith should really move up and he does. Wise decision and it's there now for Clinny to take. Five yards inside his own 65. He bends and hits a good ball. It'll land on the 21 just. Batted on by Larry, but pulled out here. Keith Murphy will have to make that. He takes the shoulder brilliantly. Hits the ball in brilliantly. Will it curl around though? It was a good effort from Keith. Surrounded by two players. But there's still four points in it. Clinny read that brilliantly. Brilliantly, Clinny. Oh, and Clinny, in a desperate attempt to get the ball, caught the man. I'm sure Dickie will see my point of view on that one. Is he after injuring himself after that one? Number 14 is Paul Cullen. He's down on the ground. But it's he's all right. An accident there, and both players seem to be all right. And Relis now to cut the gap to just three points. He's lobbing him, and, and he's scoring them. That's three points in the game in it now. Three points to. Ra to or four, four five to St. Mary's Rasslayer. Two ways to the Geraldine O'Hannons. Patsy again. That's a good ball. Land on the 65 out here towards Keith. Stevens there, but it's well picked up by Relis. Oh, what a score. What a brilliant score. There's only two points in it now. And there's eight minutes left. It's anyone's game. But the Geraldine O'Hanlon starting to get on top. This great Ross Lair team now, out towards Keith Murphy. And it's another sideline to the Geraldine O'Hanlon. There's a switch being made. Stephen Wickham's gone in full forward, and Oscar's come out wing forward to get that ball in. Relis will take this one, I think. That's a brilliantly cut in there. This is dangerous. It's, oh, Jesus. 
And everyone, including myself, thought that one was gone in. Skim past the, the left hand post, brilliantly cut up. Is that their chance now? Patsy now. The long ball keeps up. He should be pulling on that. It's out here now, it comes to Cullen. First time he's nearly got the earth. The centre forward, Pete Nolan, he's going through. Left hand. Patsy stops it brilliantly. Great save, and Kenny adds to it, he gets it out. That was a brilliant save from Patsy. Point blank shot. And a point blank save. On, Pressure on all the time on the boys from Ross Lair now. He cuts it in again. Right into the danger zone. And Larry misses it, but Pete Nolan's there. Patsy bursts his way out. Thought he was fouled. But Angie takes that beautifully. Now, go on, Daryl. And Daryl's there. Taken by row again. Pressure back on. Larry's there. Well blocked by Larry. That's it. Number 14 has it, Paul Cullen. It's not as cold. Oh, fuck it is. Well taken by Clinny. Clinny's there. Angie needs to help. Larry's there. It's very scrappy there now. Comes out to the wrong man. But it's well pulled down by Relis. Or by Clinny. And Keith Murphy keeps going with this ball now. Drives it in. Oh, shit. Just over the head of the full forward. Ball now, it's with the full back, I think, Keith Murphy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well taken there by Sheen. And Torellis. Want to watch him. Angie does his best, and Angie puts him under pressure. And that's wide. Well done, Angie. Put him under a lot of pressure. There's two points in it. Four minutes, 37 seconds left. It's anyone's game. The Marys lead by two points. That's another great puck out from Patsy over towards Oscar and Keith. And that's a Mary's ball this time. <coughs> it's a Mary's ball and Fortune will take it, will he? Getting a word of advice from Joe. Encouraging his players. Forty. Cuts it, but Keith takes it well, well won, and drives it in. That's brilliant from Keith. In towards Stephen. Stephen lets it. It's broken. Oscar's coming out for this one, but it's well taken away there by Jerome. Stephen wicked brilliantly winning it there. Beats two or three men and takes a heavy shoulder. Stephen takes a heavy shoulder to the face. And out runs Big Tony. Bravery there from Steven, got him that injury. <laughs> Will he be able to continue? He's all right. There's a Wickham in him. And Larry now, after discarding the helmet. Oh, and he cuts that one, but Keith again, reading the play brilliantly. It's the low volume, but it's taken there by Ronan again. Can the Marys? Oh, Keith. Keith, brilliant for Murphy. Won that. And battles on. Comes out here towards Larry. Larry, left handed. A low ball in. That's a good ball. Oh, but well taken there. Well taken there by Gerard Ronan. Out towards the goal. The goalkeeper turns centre forward, Carl O'Donovan. Clinney racing away from Relis. Showing his speed. Brilliant from Clinney. He's still going. What a run from the from the half back, but it's eventually torn up in there and kicked out, kicked out towards Relis. Angie, with him and Forty pulls down a great ball down down towards Noli and Martin. Martin has it. He's turning towards goal. He's turning and he's surely fouled. Oh, a great effort from Martin. He turned his man well. I thought myself it was a free. Another long puck out from the fullback. Keith Murphy lands down between Larry and 
Clint, he was up too big, up jump too high even. It's over here. And she reads it brilliantly but drops it. And that's Oh shit. Out towards the goalie. And Angie. Oh, into the centre forward, Pete Nolan. Dunny's in here. Liam Brown. Great block from Brown. Patsy's fuming with the defence. It's a 65. He's fuming with the referee. I agree with him. How could it be a 65, really? People asking to blow it up, but they're going to have to wait another 1 minute 26 seconds. It's going to be taken here by Ronan, it looks like. He hasn't hit it. Relis the wrong man. And it's a free out. It's a free out for the Marys. There's 1 minute 10 seconds left. Could this be an historic win? There's two points in it. Patsy. Who's going to take it? Patsy will take it. Dickie telling him to hurry on. He wasn't telling Carl O'Donovan to hurry on earlier on in the match, but... Patsy now. Will he hit a monster? He hits a good, good big one down towards Keith. Keith and Larry's there. Can Larry keep it going forward? He can't. He can't. It comes to the Carl O'Donovan. La La Darrell takes the belt across the head, but battles on. Angie, drive it. Well on, Angie. And uh, down here towards Martin. Big Martin and Johnny Mac. Martin. Pulled in there. And it's a... Darrell took a little shot across the back of the leg there. There's 17 seconds, 16 seconds left. Johnny Mac. Wants the county title. Comes as far as... Keith, it's a low ball in towards Martin. Could this seal it for the Marys? Martin's going through. 